Okay, so first thing I want to do is paint a picture for you. This awesome horizon we've got off in the distance. It's very beautiful. The snow's finally melted off the caps of the mountains. Awesome. We are at the corner of Austin Bluffs and Barnes. And at this corner, right over here, let me just uh, zoom in for you. That is Albert Tacos. Okay. Now, something happened here a few days ago. It's got me a little bit upset. Right? So, a few days ago, a couple of soldiers and their friends had just left a gay club here in Colorado Springs. And they went to Albert Tacos because it's open 24-7. And when they got out of Albert Tacos with, the, with their food, because they were hungry, a group of five men and two women proceeded to uh, beat the shit out of these two soldiers. And uh, they, they were yelling homophobic things at them. Uh, I think it all started because of the way that they were dressed. It, it was a bad scene. And uh, a lot of the news footage of, of the, the aftermath, the, the bloodiness of the, the interior of the car that they were in, it's uh, pretty brutal. One of the soldiers, bo both of them were from Fort Carson, which was my last duty station, which is a couple miles that way. One of the soldiers had to have his jaw wired because his, his jawbone was smashed. And I look at this, this really beautiful city and the awesome mountains that we've got around us. You know, and I know a lot of my city is littered with these mega churches. Churches, churches, churches all over. That are pretty much havens for the intolerance that these, these uh, soldiers had to go through just a week and a half ago. And uh, I know that we need to do something about this. A couple of uh, people from the LGBT Center here in Colorado Springs went to the city council and begged them to speak out publicly against this. And not a one of them would, because they said it was too political. And when, when they tried to make a, a, a you know, a, as big a, a deal as this warrants out of it, um, one of the council members said, we don't need you in here starting a ruckus, and, and frankly, I'm offended that, that you would portray this town as being intolerant, you know? And uh, they keep saying that it's not their place to say anything about this because it's too political. And, and the reason why it's political is because These mountains overshadow a whole community that is just surrounded by megachurches all over. And these megachurches have fundamentalists which vote in huge blocks. And these politicians are afraid to come out and say something about how wrong it is to beat gay people bloody and smash someone's jaw just because you don't like gay people. 
They're afraid of coming out against that because that would make them seem too sympathetic towards homosexuals in this culture. So, I'm out here today and, uh, well, the first thing I, I wanted to do about this was I wrote an article, which it's in the description box, probably along with a, a bunch of other links about this story. Um, warning, if you watch some of the news footage, there's some blood inside that car. There's a lot of blood inside that car. Um, so yeah. And then, um, since it's lunchtime, I'm gonna go get me a taco at Albert Tacos. And I'm gonna sit down and eat my taco. And I'm not gonna pray over it or uh, say grace before I fucking sit down and eat my fucking taco. And then I'm gonna go over to the Pride Fest because I'm probably still gonna be hungry and it's hot. And I think they probably have a good selection of flavors for their snow cones. Seeing as there'll, there'll be rainbows everywhere. I'm gonna go to that Pride Fest, you know, to show my support the support that the current mayor won't give a proclamation for, just like the last mayor didn't do for eight straight years. They can't come out and say that Pride Fest is a good thing because of this bubble of silence that we live in. Well, I'm gonna go get my fucking taco.